Well, we just discussed, we just discussed, obviously, that all objects, according to our book, will fall at an acceleration of 10 meters per second squared. So, if I have two tennis balls, obviously two tennis balls will fall at the same speed when released the same. All right, but then we discussed: Does the weight, does it, does the orange ball and the green ball, do they fall at the same, or does the green ball fall faster? And we took both objects and we dropped them. Now, the difference in size can have some effects here, so we want to make sure that they're both even when we drop them. But they should hit that at the same time. And then, furthermore, I asked Brian. I actually said, this ball is very heavy, right? According to this this orange ball. Right? The metal ball, the steel bearing is extremely heavy. So will the steel bearing fall faster or slower at the same rate as the orange ball? Same time. Same, uh, same. Same. Yes. What do you think? Same. Same. All right, so let's look. Here I got, I got both of these. And as we said before, uh, where's our fancy meter stick? Here you go. Get the fancy meter stick. Put it right here. Keep putting Yeah, he's he's the he's the meter stick guy. Okay. All right, so we have these here, and if I have them both at the same uh, top here, you got that nice and straight. All right, let them both go. Will they both fall at the same rate? Will they both fall at the same rate and hit at the on the table? I don't want to fall on my foot or your foot. Uh, so I'll let them go. All right. Do you want me to do that again? You still, you still rolling? <laughs> Alright, here we go. Try and, try and watch real careful. Alright, so remember, we have two two frames of reference that we're talking about. We just talked about an object in free fall. If you hold that, just like that. We have an object in free fall, so remember with the golf ball, I had it sitting here and I drop it, and it went straight down, all right? Went straight down. And at the same time, we have a, a horizontal component. We have a ball rolling across horizontally. So if you look at this, and when it comes off, what you have happening here is you'll have, just like an object in free fall, you'll have that object falling downward. But at the same time, when it's in slow motion, whether it's going fast or slow, you'll see that this object falls in the same time periods. It falls. That was slow. This one will be faster. And you have two components. You have first you have a horizontal component going across, and second you have a vertical component due to acceleration going across this way. I have a tennis ball sitting right on the edge, right on the edge of this. And I have a tennis ball that I'm going to roll across. So what's going to happen is this one right on the edge, when it gets nicked, is going to go like this, straight down, right? And the ball that I roll off the edge will go off the edge. So the real question is, which one's going to hit the ground first? I know. Does it depend how fast? If I roll it real slow, if I go real slow and I hit these two, which one's going to hit the ground first? The first one. The first one? Yeah. Can you get all the way to the ground on this? Yeah. Can you get like from here to the ground? Yeah, from the ceiling. Yeah? George, look back. He can. He can. Alright, so here we go. 
Oh, there's too much. Oh, man. There's too much. Uh, too much time from the bounce here, so I have to. I have to do it. See now, here's here's the problem. When this hits it, if it hits it, if it doesn't hit it just right. Then this one, when it hits, will bounce back and start rolling at an angle, right? right. You guys play pool, right? Yeah. yeah. So you got to hit it just the right angle so that they both, so they both. Oh! See that? I didn't see it. <laughs> hit the ground at the same time. You got it, right? The speed as it rolls across the table is the same as the horizontal speed as it. What was it? Is that about right? All right, so I'm going to let these go. One, two, three. So look at that, almost perfect. You got both in shape. And that certain shape is called a parabolic curve. A parabolic curve. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to I'm going to shoot this. and I'm going to see. Uh, you got your hands over the marking. If I can get it just right and just the right angle, we can get it up and get down and see that parabolic curve. And then you can also see across that it's it's deceleration as it goes up. It does the same thing. D equals one half g t squared to the top of that ruler, and then the acceleration as it, it hits that horizontal mark and then comes down the other side should be just about the same. So let me see if I can do that right now. Oh, oh, oh. all right, we'll have to try that again. I'll have to move it over here. I'll have to move it over here, and I'll have to give it a little less oomph. All right, here we go. Are right, you ready? Right here? You said it like six times, Jay. Perfect. Good job over there. Catch it. All right.